Now, a new test for breast cancer could be available within two years. Now, that's according to a team of scientists at Nottingham University here in the UK. They've developed a new method of screening for the disease. Researchers say the test could help doctors tailor treatment better, helping to boost survival rates and preventing patients from suffering from unnecessary side effects. Well, at the moment, two biomarkers are routinely screened for in women with breast tumours. But now the researchers in Nottingham have dis developed a method that screens for 10 key proteins. Now, those proteins identify seven different biological types of breast cancer. Well, with me in the studio is Baroness Delith Morgan. She's the chief executive of the charity Breast Cancer Campaign, which funded the study. Baroness Morgan, I mean, how different is this? Welcome, first of all. Well, it's, it's new and it's important because it's a development towards the development of really personalised treatment for women diagnosed with breast cancer. So what happens is most women, when they're diagnosed in the UK, would have surgery um, and then there'd be um, a, a review of the, the, the tumour. So the tumour's taken out and then there'd be, using the laboratory services, there'd be a review of what kind of cancer is that and then how should the treatment be organised? Should there be chemotherapy? Should there be radiotherapy? Should there be hormone therapy? And, and this new approach would be able to target treatments much more effectively to the women who would benefit most. So what you can then do is not give them things that would have no impact on their cancer, which might actually be counterproductive. Yeah, so what the researchers have done, have, they've looked at survival in these groups of women and identified that, say for example, in one particular group where survival is very good, then the suggestion could be that they, these women don't need chemotherapy. Now for women who um, are spared chemotherapy, it means they, they wouldn't have to have the debilitating side effects, they wouldn't have the hair loss, the fatigue and the interruption for, for you know, daily life that, that that causes. So for those women it could be really good news. Now more research needs to be done to make sure that the evidence base supporting the test is absolutely as rigorous as possible. But the scientists are saying that this could be available in the UK, in, in clinics in the UK in a couple of years' time, which is really exciting. What sort of reception has this got? I mean, I know there's, there's a bit of scepticism around Cancer yeah. Research UK have said it's not clear whether this will give doctors any more useful information than the tests already in place. I mean, what, what do you say to yeah. that? Well, I think what, what, what people use, what pathologists use in the UK now um, is a, a test developed by Nottingham University and what Nottingham University scientists are doing are extending this to use more biomarkers as you described so that the, the, uh, the prognostic test that they have designed will have, will have a finer resolution that will be more helpful to clinicians. Now there are some people who would prefer to use um, diagnostic tests based on the genetic markers. Um, and for, in some situations, they might be more appropriate. So there is a debate, but for, but for, for the day-to-day -day delivery of really good, solid diagnosis in NHS hospitals, this is a really good, important step forward. Uh, is this just unique to breast cancer, or is this something that could possibly be developed for all kinds of cancers? What we're seeing with breast cancer is, um, over the years, research has helped people to understand that, there, that breast cancer is a very complicated kind of cancer. There are lots of different types and you can tailor treatment appropriately. Uh, and as we discover more treatments, then they could be more finely tailored. This is important for all cancers because it means that the more you understand about the different types, say of pancreatic cancer or of bowel cancer, Answer, the more that you could do. So it offers hope for other areas too. Baroness Morgan, thank you very much indeed. Very interesting to talk to you. Stay with us here on Impact. We'll be back soon.